Hey, baseball fan, my name is Dave from the Frontier League Journal, and we are today with Dakota McFadden, who just signed with the Windy City Thunderbolts. And I have a lot of questions for him. You had questions, you reached out, you wanted me to talk to him. So I'm doing this today. How are you, Dakota? Good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. How is it to, to have your name mispronounced, Dakota? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. There ain't no worries. No worries. I'm, a French I'm a French Canadian, so that's okay. Um, uh, I'm wondering, uh, we were just talking about struggles because there's something that's missing in your story. You can make contact. You have a good eye at the plate. You're a pitcher. You're a hitter. You have power. Why are you not in affiliated ball? You know, um, you know, it's one of those things that just happened, uh, you know. And uh, for me, um, I was always raised on, you know, learn all nine so that at some point, if somebody goes down, then you can be the next guy up. So, um So for me, I took that to heart, and and in my whole life, I've I've been able to, you know, just keep learning and learning and learning. And um, did I think I was going to be a two way for this long? Uh, no, if you want me to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm I'm fortunate enough uh, that the the man upstairs has has been able to bless me with with at least giving it the attempt, uh, for sure. Um, and You know, and, and it's okay, you know, that, that I'm not right now. I mean, it, it gives me, you know, something else to keep fighting for while, while I'm on this journey. Um, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm not going to sit here, you know, kind of sulk and go boo-hoo. Why me? Uh, why didn't they pick me? Why ain't I there? No, I mean, you just got to, you got to find it in your heart. You got to be, you, you got to find it in you you know, just to, to push harder and um, work for it, fight for it. If not, then, you know, then, then, then you don't know what can happen. So, yeah. As I, as I mentioned in my amazing intro that I had, uh, you were with, uh, you just signed with the Windy City Thunderbolts. Um, and I, I just talked to Kevin Santiago, uh, your, uh, your itching coach uh, with the team. Um, I, he mentioned that Michael Deeb had something to do with it. So he, he talked to you and maybe in the choice of the, of the team. C can you tell me what he told you? Oh, man. Uh, Michael Deeb, man. I, I love that guy. Yeah. That, that guy is a dear friend to me after uh, last year. Um, and, well, Deeb reached out to me and uh, said uh, – Hey man, did did uh did you uh turn down going to Windy City to go <laughs> uh somewhere else? And I was thinking, wait, what? And uh <laughs> and I said, hold on, wait a minute. I'm about as confused as confused can be because uh I was gonna head to the US PBL, then I heard from Windy City, then I I was confused. It was literally a situation that I can't even explain. It was unbelievable. And then, um, you know, but, but, but Deed, man, he, he was, he was telling, um, uh, Mr. Santiago, you know, Hey, you know, there's a guy here, you know, you know, possibly take a chance on this guy. And he was kind of pushing for me. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful. Deeb, if you see this, I love you to death. My brother, keep catching barrels. I love you, man. Um, uh, but you know, and he, he kind of helped push the issue a little bit and, and I'm grateful, I'm grateful that they're, they're at least giving me a shot to, uh, to, you know, continue playing the game for you're sure. Good. You're a good, a great addition to this lineup. You, uh, did you play with the Savannah Bananas or you were just on the team and then, uh, everything just went down, uh, until now? Yeah, I was. I did play for Savannah. I okay. did play for Savannah. Uh, I loved every bit of it. Um, <laughs> Savannah, Georgia is also a new home for me now. Like, I, I love that place. Oh. Uh, I will. They will always be dear to my heart. Everybody out there. Um, and that was a crazy time. That was a crazy, crazy time playing down there with the crazy rules that we had. 
the the amount of fans that were just out there just getting getting life and putting life into the players and everything like oh man that was awesome uh, I'm 40 years old, you're 25, so I'm very old and you're very young. Um, the, uh, you, the, the rules over there, what did you think? I mean, are, are you a purist where you would like baseball to stay as it is right now? Or are you um, encouraged by some of the innovation that happened over there? Well, you know, I'm a little bit of both. Um, I'm, I'm kind of old school when it comes to the game at heart. Uh, but however... You know, the rules at first, I was thinking, eh, I don't know. But then when you, like, play it, it kind of makes you a little bit more locked in, you know, towards the game and the game situation. Yeah. Um, like, I got kind of used to it after uh, a couple of it in. And it was really fun, really adamant. And, you know, I I, I did I, I did like the uh, times of banana ball. Banana ball was a little different, but it was fun at the same time, too. <laughs> it's a banana brand. I love it. Uh, you're now in the, the camp with the Windy City. I think it started today? Yes. Okay, perfect. I talked to Brian Smith. Um, I emailed him. Uh, he's very happy to have you uh, on the team. And I think you have the right setup to be able to at least experiment with pitching and hitting. You seem to, to get it going on both sides of the ball. Is it difficult to stay focused? Because if somebody goes wrong on the pitching side, does it affect the hitting side? Uh, for me, um, since I've been kind of doing it for a while, um, to me, it, it keeps me more focused. Okay. Um, because, like, it, it kind of helps uh, as a pitcher, you know, seeing hitters and, and kind of help me develop a game plan against a hitter and then uh when I face guys on the offensive side I kind of get an idea of okay so how would you, how would I believe they would attack me uh, me going up to the plate um you know and you know it's just it, it helps me stay focused um I mean I know people have told me I'm a little scatterbrained but it's all right with me <laughs> um because, you know, it keeps my mind fresh. It keeps me really keep developing the game within the game um, on both sides of the ball. And, you know, and honestly, with doing both sides, I mean, if that helps the team out, then I'm perfectly okay with it. Um, but, you know, it it kind of helps me stay more focused, more focused on, on both ends because I get two ends of the spectrum on how one is, how the other is, and – you know, it's it, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So for me, it helps me kind of stay more focused. And if one side's not working, then how can I use the other side to to help? Um, so I mean, that's just that's kind of how I go. I'm putting you on the spot right now, but um, if I'm Brian Smith and I approach you and I say, "Dude, um, I'm not going to have you as a two-way player. You have to choose pitching or hitting." Oh, dang! Um, yeah, you're gone. You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. If 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 Skip approaches me and asks me that question, um, for me, I would ask him, uh, what would you believe that that I could help the team out the most? If it's gonna be on the pitching side, then. You know, I mean, as much as I love to hit, and believe me, I do. Uh, if I gotta, if I gotta put the sticks down and pick up the glove and keep learning uh, full time on the mound, then I'll do it. Um, if you know he comes up and says, you know, hey, we'll need you to hit, then you know I can throw the pitching side down for a little while, and then you know just keep keep developing offensively as much as I can to help the club out. Um, so. It's gonna if it goes off of him, then you know I'm I'm all for it. Um, but you know for, it's just that's that's just such a tough question for me, just because I, I I know I know it's hard to come up with the answer because both of them are fun, both of them are great. Uh, I love doing the both of them, but that gone. Oh, oof. <laughs> You know what? I did not get an answer, but I love the answer. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, can you show me or, or just tell me what's your, what's your arsenal? So uh, what do you throw and the velocities? 
So for uh, on the pitching side, I got a four seam that'll be anywhere between um, 92, anywhere between 92, 94. Wow. My, my two seam pro- varies between uh, probably around 89, 92, somewhere in there. Now, this also depends on the day. Um, <laughs> then still, de- still developing a change up. Uh, that'll be around low 80s. Uh, I, I can't hear you. Hello. Oh, okay, that's okay. So, so I, I, I missed. No, no, I, I missed the, the last pitch. Uh, I got a cutter. That's oh, around. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, cutter. Some people say it's a slider. That, I don't know. I, I just know I throw it and it moves the other direction to where I throw it. Um, but that's around 85, 85-ish, 86. Um, and then I got a curveball. And the curveball's around low 80s as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, trying to keep – trying to, you know, develop as much movement as possible with all my pitches because I know, I mean, I know I'm not going to blow a lot of people away. But I hope, but I, I try to use my movement to try to get guys out. So, but yeah, that's all I got in the, that's all I got in the old uh, arsenal here. And what I like about you is you miss bats and you don't allow a, a lot of walks. So, I mean, that, that, that works for you and that works for the team. When it comes to hitting, uh, you, you were in the power showcase and it's like a home run derby. I mean, you go full on. Does that mess with, with your swing? Because like they say, when you go into a home run derby, you come back to play and then your swing is all messed up. What well, did, did you think that was, that was missing with your swing? Um, a little bit, a little bit, but, um, but luckily um, I know after I do something like that, then I don't go right back to the drawing board, but when I get back to, to, you know, hitting and fine tuning things again. I know where to start from. I know where to start from. I know where to get the hands going, um, and, and kind of get them all back in sync because it's kind of two different swings, pretty much a home run derby swing and then uh, the in game swing. So I try I, when I get back to training, uh, I get about as detailed as detail could get just to make sure that my swing isn't you know totally messed up more than what it may be already so um <laughs> <laughs> so uh but yeah that that's just a lot of things that I do um and you know just making sure mentally that that it's mentally game ready as well uh because if if you know Yogi Bear said it you know it's 90% mental, the other half is physical. So I got to <laughs> mentally, I got to mentally get myself, you know, saying, all right, this is game swing now, game swing now, game swing now. Ain't home run derby no more. Mm-hmm. So, Nick, Fadden, Nick Fadden quoting Yogi Berra. I love it. Uh, you, okay, my last question. Um, I had a debate uh, on the side because th- there was this news. Well, it, it's not confirmed yet, but th- uh, the Frontier League is talking about having an extra innings to decide a game, a home run derby. What would you choose? Would you choose like the runner on, on second? Would you choose another rule or the home run derby? Uh, hmm. I mean, when we did it, when, when, uh, when I was with the Cardinals, we, we did that and it was pretty cool. It was fun. I mean, the fans got active. Um, so, I mean, a home run derby is always fun. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't mind a home run derby. I mean, you know, maybe you're having a bad game and you can be the hero for BP, uh, you know. and yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, uh, I like the home run derby, especially like when you see guys get into one and they really, really fly. That's really, that's really awesome, too. Absolutely. So, uh, I, I think you'll get along very well with Kevin Santiago. He's, he's got the same opinion that, that you have about this topic. And he's a great, great guy. He's, I think he's the guy for you as a hitter. Um, Dakota, thank you so much for taking the time, man. I, I won't bother you um, 
anymore. Uh, I was a pain in the ass to get this interview. I got it. Oh, no, it ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. <laughs> Boy. I'm very, I'm very happy to, uh, I've been able to talk to you. Have a great day, man. So it's going to be on Instagram in a few minutes. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Have a good one, dude. All right. You too. Bye-bye.